About a week ago, my family and I sold everything. We packed our bags and we bought a one-way ticket to Southeast Asia, where our first stop will be in the beautiful Bali, Indonesia, and soon we'll be settling into our new home base, Bangkok, Thailand. Now, this move is more than just an adventure for us. It's about embracing a new way of life. We're leaving behind the political polarization, constant anxiety, chemical Latin foods, and not to mention the hustle culture. We're trading it all in for something that feels more align with the life that we want to live. Follow me on this journey of living life abroad. Oh, a whole door is missing. I mean, I get the open concept situation, but it, it was not explicitly enclosed in the listing. Yeah, eventually when we figure it out. So you guys, the listing, yeah, the listing showed the pictures, right? And it didn't really clearly show that this was an entire opening. We had to really, really, really carefully look at it when we kept looking over at the pictures after booking it. Then we asked and they were like, yeah, it's kind of open to Balinese. We didn't realize that there was an entire door like missing. So you see that's the outside and then there's no door and this is pretty much the inside area. I don't want to show too much because, you know, uh, yeah. So, we're getting a refund. Okay, you guys, so this is our new spot. God is good, like, this is what we needed. This is nice, this is nice. Like, this is, this is the first time we've booked like an apartment, condo type of place in Bali. <laughs> this is actually nice like i wish we checked into this last night versus that haro that we had last night you guys not gonna show the names of certain stuff because <laughs> but we literally have a laundry place right in front of us we can watch them do laundry so we can drop off our laundry right next door maybe they'll you know deliver it too we have restaurants close by walking distance we're walking distance from the beach i wonder how far the beach is from here Okay, guys, so we're literally walking distance from the beach and walking distance from like restaurants and salons and all of that. I guess this is kind of somewhat the heart of Shangu. Uh, I was trying to not really be in the heart of Shangu because Shangu gets so busy and, you know, overpopulated with tourists and all of that. But I'm actually happy that we're here. And downstairs, they have a nice pool and like a quiet outdoor area. Maybe I can sit down and just chit chat with y'all, do some content out there. I like this spot. Let me show you guys the room. Okay, fam, let's go check out the room. But we already saw it. They have a little water thingy here, a built-in. I'm gonna have to look at the real estate here and see if I can get in on it. I already asked the lady if they have any available for sale. Um, so this is the master. They already put, um, Cairo's bassinet in there. We're probably gonna put it next door so he can have his own little room. Oh, have a little TV. Oh, yes, each room has... I stopped recording by accident. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> um, but I like this though. I like the standing shower. I like that. I like this little bamboo rack. It's giving Bali vibes. I love this bed. I love a what? Oh, there's another balcony. Oh snap! We have two balconies, y'all, and we have C. Oh, catch me outside in the early mornings for a cup of tea. Catch me outside. Who's gonna get a tattoo? Me. I'm getting a tattoo. No, you're not. <laughs> Carol, tell your daddy he's not getting no tattoo, and keep dreaming. Ah. Uh, but this spot is, is nice. I'm loving the space that we have. I really wish this space was available for like an entire month because we'll be in Bali for about a month or two. We're not sure. Um, yeah, but, huh? We just gotta go above our price range. Yeah, we have to go above our price range because we have a budget, y'all. We, <laughs> we didn't come to Bali to ball out, okay? <laughs> we came to Bali to be frugal, okay. This is your room, baby. This is going to be your little room. He has a little chair. And check this out. A cute little... Oh, that's the door to the bathroom. And then he has his own bathroom. 
I wish we had a baby bathtub. Right, man. <laughs> okay. I like this shower. Nice. We'll just have to give him standing showers for for now until we get like a baby bath. So I like this spot, huh? Let's go back and check some real quick. What? Toilet paper. Wow. Look at that. They actually have toilet paper, oh, they Cairo. Have, they have backup toilet paper. Oh, too. look at that. They even have extra toilet paper. That's apparently. And shampoo, shower gel, and hand soap. Look at that. Apparently, some people think you shouldn't provide them. Right. I guess some Airbnb hosts think you just shouldn't provide toilet paper. The basics. Yeah, and then not tell you that, oh, by the way, you're gonna have to go out and get your own toilet paper and hand soap. But at least let me be able to wash my hands, right? After I use the bathroom, OMG. That was a nightmare, you guys. I'm just so happy that we're out of that space. We literally checked in super late last night. Not even last night, you guys, this morning. That's how late we flew in, our flight came in late. And, <laughs> you know, traveling with a baby is just so much different. If it was just Raymond and I, it probably would have been less stressful, but, but you know, with Baby Boy, it didn't make it any easier, you guys. And we, uh, I don't know if by this time I would have already told you guys what happened uh, at the previous Airbnb, but to make a long story short, we basically were deceived, okay? The pictures, the description, and all of that was not what we expected it to be. And, I mean, this is another lesson. I like to give people benefit of the doubt and to give people chances. I usually book Airbnbs with reviews. This one was a brand new one because the villa was apparently brand new. They just built it. So I'm like, okay, you know, I already know that Bali's developing, you know, the Shangu Kuta area. And I was like, okay, it looks nice. It's okay to be the first set of people to book this spot, you guys. The villa doesn't even look new, you guys. Like the shower was dirty just stuff was just dirty there was no door like somebody could literally jump in from <sighs> i can't even begin to tell you guys the story you guys i can't even believe it like the pictures that they showed us i probably am going to insert a clip here let me sit down you guys so basically they had a really like aesthetically pleasing photo of like um the pool area with like a glass like there's a wall then there's a glass and we're like okay when i booked it we were first thinking that the glass was kind of like a reflection and it wasn't like a half glass wall and <laughs> lo and behold after we went back and went back kept looking at the pictures we noticed that it wasn't a reflection that the kitchen area was intact was open like open now bear in mind I understand that there are traditional Balinese type of like homes, open concept, like open kitchen or separate kitchen or separate bathroom or open bathroom, stuff like that. We're aware of that. I prefer not to have too much openness. <laughs> Cara, baby. <laughs> so I prefer not to have too much like openness because of like lizards you guys and all that stuff right flies all of that and so however when you book an airbnb you'll typically be able to see on the pictures and they'll usually say right explicitly that it's like open concept or you'll be able to just see that okay the bathroom is outside or something this particular time they did not make it clear you guys i'm telling you they did not have any pictures that showed that there was literally no door so there was a main gate um, like like a driveway gate and then you walk up, walked up there was kind of like another wooden door like and then there's a pool area but there is a wall that you can pretty much you're six feet tall you can jump over it and come into the living space basically okay there was no door there and I'm just like the pictures did not depict that so <laughs> I was oh my gosh and it wasn't only that, you guys. That wasn't the only thing. For one, for me, it was a safety concern, especially with having our baby. Um, for, for two, we didn't realize that the baby's room 
was actually downstairs outside. So not even a part of like the main area. And like there were insects in there, stuff like that. I'm like, I'm not gonna have my baby downstairs where there's no door. That's a security issue. And there's insects, like who would put their baby in that type of room? And additionally, the towels were like dirty. The white towel, we, had, we, we got like one small white towel and there was like this random red towel and, like, and this random gray towel. And I'm just like, who does that? You can see that it's not really clean. And that's just, that's just one of my pet peeves, you guys. When I book like an Airbnb or a hotel, I do not like to check into a hotel or Airbnb or any type of hospitality space and it is not clean. It's not up to standard. I'm not expecting things to be perfect right you you may never get perfect right you may have a little dust here and there that's okay but the basics you can't give somebody dirty towels and then there were no toilet paper like no toilet paper no soap it was just a lot going on i'm not even gonna lie like i'm not one to i know I, i'm very particular right but i'm not one to nitpick every little thing but when things start just adding up and it was already like, you know, stressful, it was a long day. It was a total of like 24 hour travel day or 26 hours, something like that. And I was just like, okay, am I tripping or is this place really just not up to par, you know? And yeah, between my husband and I, we're just like, no, we, we can't stay here. Security for security reasons, you know, safety reasons, it was not clean. We did not feel comfortable. We did not feel safe. There's just a lot going on. What else? I'm trying to remember what was the other big like deal breaker. What was the other big deal breaker what? for the place? The I, the wi oh, y'all, the Wi-Fi. They claimed there was Wi-Fi. Now, mind you, we work remotely, right? I do business remotely. Hubby, you know, works remotely. He needs solid Wi-Fi. Like his sessions can be, he can't have his sessions be cutting out, right? And they sent us, I guess, some Wi-Fi information. When we got there, tried connecting to Wi-Fi while we were upstairs in the room. I wasn't able to find the Wi-Fi to even connect to it. My husband wasn't able to find the Wi-Fi to even connect to it. It was a, it was a whole thing, you guys. Um, I think long after we got on the phone with Airbnb, to, we, we sent pictures, like all the pictures and screenshot, like the listings and the details of the listings that it did not state that this was a felony style home. Yeah, as I was saying, they didn't explicitly state that this is not a Balinese style or this is a Balinese style home. After we went through the pictures and we kind of noticed, then I sent a message and asked after I booked it. And they were like, yeah, it's kind of like a Balinese style home. But she didn't say that, okay, there's also no door. So, you know, we had to explain that to Airbnb and send pictures. It was a whole back and forth. And then eventually Airbnb agreed that the listing was in violation or something like that. At first they were saying it's not because they are not obligated to provide like certain amenities. Then they were saying like, okay, with the Wi-Fi, that may be an issue. They're also saying that the host is saying there is Wi-Fi. It was just a lot of back and forth. And then eventually they called us back and they were like, okay, we understand. And you know, mind you, you guys, I'm somebody who have been super host over and over, right? Like we're not new to Airbnb. We're not new to the hospitality you know industry um we're not new to booking airbnb and I, I don't expect people to be perfect but there's just certain principles right there's there's just certain basics that i feel like airbnb hosts should you know be considerate and be mindful of in my opinion <laughs> that's baby boy in the background screaming uh in my opinion like i would have never like for the years that i've been doing airbnb i would never have somebody check in to a space that that was in that type of condition, you know, dirty. It was just a lot going on with it. I can go on and on, but it was just too much. We were just like, we're not, we can't stay here. So we literally checked in early this morning, like midnight, and it's only like 10 a.m. So 10 hours later, here we are checked out and we booked an for an entire month, you guys. So we had all intention to stay at this place for an entire month, but plans change and we we're really upset about it i'm not gonna lie because we were like we just want some stability you know we just wanted to come here and just be in one place because we've done it before where we've looked at this place stayed for a week and all of that which is fine 
but we just this time just wanted to just be one place but you know everything works out for a reason and i'm actually happy because we've never stayed really in shangu the last time we stayed in like way north like lavina area then we came to abud for a little bit and i think that was pretty much it but we've never really stayed in this area so now we're like walking distance from the beach we're walking distance from a lot of things which is so cool so i'm super excited about it so i'm like you know what everything happens for a reason and i'm about to see about this real estate situation okay because i i'm digging this i like this i really 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 do like this i could see myself here long term at first i was like okay i prefer a villa villa with like a pool and my own little yard space but i actually like being able to just walk to stuff this is what i traded the american dream for that is why we moved to southeast asia i wanted to be able to walk more to be more active to just be okay just be free and like in america america is built so that you feel like you need a car like if you don't have a car it's like hard to get around just to go to the store to get stuff or you have to just order uber instacart all of that i want to be able to just walk to the market and get pick out fresh fruits and stuff like that or to get some you know traditional balinese food or uh to get a drink or something you know i want to be able to walk to stuff and not have to rely on uber eats or instacart all the time or having to drive all the time my hands are tired y'all but i'm going to do another video in in the future okay this is going to be probably one video in itself and uh i'll do another video another like official sit down video sharing like why i decided to move my family to southeast asia so if you want to uh you know learn more about that if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that whenever i upload new videos post new videos go live anything like that you guys will be the first to know okay i'm back y'all i'm back <laughs> are you okay booby you ready to go to the beach are you ready to go to the beach you want to say hi to the peoples no Say hi to the peoples, Cairo. You ready to go to the beach, sweet boy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.